You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host. Um, spring is just around the corner, and one of the sure signs of spring every year is, or every year, every other year, Brockton Garden Club is everywhere. <laughs> and Barute, Sylvia, yes. one of my favorites, Thank is you. here in studio to tell us that they're <laughs> doing the annual garden and craft show. Well, almost annual. I wish it were. It's every other year, more or less. That's what I meant. But it's close enough. It's our sixth. Mm -hmm. Our heart is in the right place. And we really want to have a wonderful, festive, robust show for the citizens of Brockton and the South Shore. Because in our area, uh, Rhode Island doesn't do a flower show anymore, a garden show anymore. So it's either Boston or Brockton. And so we hope to attract anywhere 3,000 or more people from the area because we're advertising robustly already. Uh, we're going to have flyers in, uh, on the counters in stores, restaurants, pharmacies, wherever people live, wherever they do their business, so they can pick up a flyer and know about it. Uh, we're going into schools, grades one through three, the little ones are very good about bringing papers home. Very, very good. And the older they get, they become origami in the back. That's right. That's right? right. Especially if parents need to know something about it. Yes, exactly. Uh, but the little ones are very loyal. Um, and of course, uh, you're always there to help us. You're a big booster of the Brockton Garden Club, oh. and we appreciate that. We love what you do and oh, what thank all you, you do. Um, mm. The Garden Club is one of my favorite mm. organizations because of all the wonderful help you mm -hmm. folks gave us at the Brockton Public Library. Oh, we enjoyed um, that. And all over mm -hmm. the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys brighten the city. Mm -hmm. And it's a vibrant club. Mm -hmm. You do wonderful things. You have great programs all year yes. long. You have members that mm -hmm. give of themselves. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a lot of work behind the scenes. I see you folks out there with, you know, uh, in the dirt doing, <laughs> you know, getting your hands dirty, not just yeah. talking about it. I know, I know, Mark. I don't look like myself right now, uh, so don't get used to it. Okay. I'm normally, uh, fingernails are not too clean, and the jeans have seen much better days. Uh, we love working in the city. We love beautifying it. You know that we've done now a couple of fire stations. Mm -hmm. We started at the east side and planted um, roses and grasses and euonymus and uh, uh, the uh, greenhouse that sold us all of this when he said it was the firehouse, they gave us bunches of petunias, and it looked so, so great. The mayor got wind of it, and one Saturday morning in August, we showed up there about 5 in the morning because the heat was unbearable. Well, who's coming around the corner? The mayor. Somehow he found out that we were working there, and he just came by to say thank you. It's very often... Um, Automobiles go by, they crank the window out, thank you so much, this is wonderful. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate that. So the Campello Fire Station found out that what we did for the east side, they said, how about us? So we did that one too. Yes. There's always a corner, there's always a patch of dirt that you can do something with and prove. We're yeah. going to have to get one of those little flower cams and oh, put them on absolutely. when you guys are out doing it. We'll get a real bird's eye uh -huh. view of the whole thing. So th look, at this is a whole day of events, right? It's from 4 o'clock, uh, I mean, for 10 o'clock uh, in the morning to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll have approximately 50 vendors, um, exhibitors. Um, we're going to have speakers. Um, uh, one of them is um, Leanne Arujo from Arujo's Nurseries in North Dighton. She's going to do a demonstration on container planting, how to make beautiful containers, uh, and, and not only the skill, but the aesthetics, what plants to put in. Uh, she also, uh, with her company, is bringing in all kinds of flowers, uh, uh, perennials, uh, garden art, whatever, uh, to beautify. Uh, then beyond that, we're going to have mini speakers there's going to be a lovely uh, master gardener who's going to speak about good bugs and bad bugs. Okay. And then there's a lovely gentleman who's going to speak about compost. And I have entirely no idea what bread composting is, the bread method of composting. Mm. But we are going to find out because that's what he's going to be talking about. 
And then to round out the program, we have one of um, the South Shore's favorites called Brodeur from Arbor Care uh, in Ropes and Saddles. He is a garden tree expert um, who normally gets so many questions at the end of his session that we can't get the people out of the uh, location. So this year, we've put him as the last speaker because then they can stay and, and ask all they want. Captive audience. Exactly, well. exactly. And a very interested audience. Um, the other thing that also um, we love uh, interacting with Brockton High School students. We're very proud of the school system and of Brockton High School, which is so cooperative with us uh, as a central administration. Uh, we have contacted the art department, and the young people have presented us with photographs of artwork that they created. We will do what the Museum of Fine Arts does. We will have uh, art in bloom. Mm. They will be the pictures of the artwork that the students have done, if not the original, and then right in front of it will be the interpretation in floral design. Nice. And it will be juried. Uh, it will be evaluated. And I look forward to that. Even if you lose, you win, because the judges' comments are so instructive uh, that you learn so much from it. So just by, by belonging, by doing, you win. And it's right at Brockton High. You know, uh, right at Brockton and High. And Azure cafeterias. Exactly. So a lot and of flow, a lot ex of nice Lots flow. of flow. There will also be a food vendor with very reasonable prices so people can uh, relax, pull up a chair, uh, have a little repast, go back, check around, talk to the different vendors. Um, oh, and I have a real, real wonderful surprise for you. Okay. Oh, and all of this, all of this, no parking fee, nothing. Entrance is a $3 donation. Wow, that's amazing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now compare that to going into the city. Mm -hmm. And if you have a family, um, here, you, uh, April 9th, which is the beginning of spring, you have Palm Sunday, you have Passover coming, a rebirth of spirit, a rebirth of earth, and then all of this wonderful activity that, that is garden-centered, nature-centered, student-centered, art-centered for $3. Can't beat that. No. Uh, tell me the surprise because I'm getting the, the, key, the, the, the okay. time sign. The surprise is we have another uh, nursery coming in that has connections to Brockton. And this is uh, the Sousa Family Farm from Rehoboth. They are going to bring a plethora of plants, uh, flowers, cut flowers, urns, whatever. And there's a connection to Brockton. I don't know. Some of us are mature enough to remember different families in, mm -hmm. in Brockton. We in the Upper Village, as we called it, knew of the Dillis family. The Dillis family had 16 children. Each one was beautiful, talented, good, uh, achieving, etc. Well, Valerie Dillis uh, from Brockton married John Souza from okay. Rehoboth. There you go. And we have the uh, Souza family farm. And Valerie is tickle pink. She says, uh, I said, can I tell the story about you, Valerie? She says, oh, let it all hang out. She's just a real delightful individual. And also, interestingly, she made contact with Rob May. The city planner. City planner. Uh, last Saturday at some kind of agricultural forum. Right, at Norfolk Aggie. Exactly. I saw, I saw, that, in the, I saw that in the paper. Exactly. I don't mean to cut you off, but we're out of time. So we are. We are. We what did the happened? nine minutes. We did the nine minutes. It's easy. What? So last thing is I know you have a website which is Brockton yes. That's right. Okay. So there's more information on there. Mm -hmm. There's also sponsorship information. Exactly. One of your great members left the stuff in the in the hallway and we're gonna be a sponsor too. They beat me to it. Okay. I was going to Mark, okay. thank you so much. It's very nice you to see you. You are just a blessing. Same here. Thank you. Same here. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.